Jens Uwe, you brought us a very interesting case of a patient with a strange wall motion abnormality. Can you show us what deformation imaging can provide here? Yeah, sometimes it can also show you that something is maybe normal. So I would like to show you this case of a 44-year-old, very obese woman, which came with very unclear complaints of intolerance to heat to our department. In former times, she was diagnosed with a dilated cardiomyopathy, uh, but that had been never confirmed on our, uh, in our department. But she had definitely a lot of risk factors. She was extremely obese, a uh, body mass index of 40 kilograms per square meter. She was a smoker and had hypertension and diabetes. But the ECG was normal at rest and during exercise. But when you looked at the echo, you really wondered if this was a normal heart or not. Obviously, there is something very strange happening here in the lateral wall. This wall does not move normally. And when you look at the three-chamber view, very similar things can be observed in the posterior lateral wall. Also here we see a sort of abnormal motion. So what can we do? We can measure strain and we can do regional strain assessment. And I show you here the analysis just as a comparison between a point or a sample volume in the septum and a sample volume in this abnormally moving lateral wall. And when you look at the strain curve, you can clearly see that both of these strain curves are completely normal. They show a systolic shortening, they are synchronous, there's nothing abnormal to be detected in these curves. So what was the problem of this lady? The explanation came with the MRI result. I show you here um, the MRI of this lady and if you know that the MRI shows fat in bright colors then you see clearly that there is a huge amount of fat in the abdomen under the diaphragm and this fat is pushing the diaphragm upwards against the heart. That's a very rare finding and this is another cut through the thorax and you see here on the right side or on the yeah, left of the heart, you see the, um, this dome of the diaphragm with all the fat pushing against the lateral wall of the left ventricle. And this is exactly the funny motion that we see in the echo image. If you compare the MRI image and the echo image directly, you see that they show both exactly the same motion pattern. So I think this is a nice example that you can also use deformation imaging to rule out disease. Yeah, it's definitely a very nice example. Um, you see all sorts of strange things and with speckle tracking you can get sometimes a little better understanding of what the problem really is.